So, hello everybody. Um, we are out for we're out for a wee uh, couple of nights camp. Um, we're just going to. It's actually it was actually the same place I went last week um, because <coughs> I'm absolutely dying with the cold. Absolutely hanging with it. So we're going to take it easy. We're going to go down there and see what see what we can do. But we've got some nice food. We're going to have some uh, nice fire, nice food. Um, we are going to. What else was I going to do? I can't remember. Just going to see what happens. I may even move tomorrow. But we've got nice weather for the next couple of days. So yeah, be crazy not to uh, not to go. Hello, moo cows. Yeah, see, we've got some moo cows in the field. Are you okay there, son? Uh huh. Well, I say moo cows, these are bulls. So, hopefully, they're going to behave themselves. They're pretty used to people walking by this bit, I think. So, uh, I've not had any problems thus far, but they're a lot bigger now than they were. Uh, at the start of the year. Oh, no. Oh, come on, turn around. There we go. There will move to go. There's still a couple more over there. Yeah, so, not too far to walk. And it's a beautiful day, a bit late in the day, but I think I've got about two, two, two and a half hours until the sun goes down. That'll be right. Oh, we're at the field. It's been ploughed. So that's not too bad, but yeah, I hate walking over ploughed fields. <laughs> but we don't have that far to walk, so it doesn't matter. I'll bring you guys back when I'm, uh, when I'm at camp, sort of ready to set up and whatnot. So ladies and gentlemen, that's us here, we are at camp now, you all know where this is, I know I was here last time but uh, it's nice and easy to get to, I'll go away, oh, we wonder. See if should still be plenty of wood there. That looks nice today. Water's down quite a lot now. Definitely down from what it was like last week when I was here. Oh look at that. That's a couple of handy dandy bits of wood for me. was freaking out there a little bit, sorry guys. A couple of nice little bits of wood there. And what's right here? So a lot more of this that I couldn't use last week. So probably be dry now. Stuff over in that corner, stuff over there, there's stuff everywhere. I know there's a nice big bit there, a couple of nice big bits there as well, which I definitely need to take the saw to. Oh. To be honest, I think it's tiny being here, it's moving stuff, it looks like it. A lot of stuff out there. Well, 
See what happens. Gorgeous night. And I can't wait to get everything set up, get a fire sorted, and get some nice food on. So guys, that's a wee view of the river. Just took it out here, just a wee quick note. Um, I got here and I've had this uh, <coughs> this new battery pack for a little while now and I couldn't quite finish charging it at home so I thought I'll give I'll finish it off with the solar panels so I just walked to the edge of the wood so it's in direct sunlight you can see there I've just put my carabiner on the end there and just got it hanging from a tree it's just sitting there charging away don't know if you can see that uh, that's it just sitting charging with the solar um, I can't remember the make of this one um, it's a 25, 2500, no, yeah, 2500 milliamp uh, charger, so what I'll do is, I mean, I, I've been really happy with it and stuff, so um, I'm going to be trying to remember and post a wee link to it in the, in the description, so it's not like, uh, I don't have an Amazon shop or a sponsor or anything like that, it's just, I found it to be quite good so if anyone's looking for a decent decent solar charger then uh, yeah I'll post that in the description all right guys set up time <coughs> you'll have to excuse my coughing a little bit I'll just check that's actually set up Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's about right. There we go. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I'll have to excuse my coughing and that a little bit on this one because uh, I'm dying. <laughs> As I've already said, I am the poster boy for man flu. I've got my smaller tarp today. Um, there isn't any any rain really forecast, so
as always, my snug pack hammock blanket. Really do love this thing. Having forgot hammock blankets in the past, the, the difference they make is phenomenal. Although, I think maybe the DD one's a bit smaller. So it may be actually a little bit better for like the summer. But this is definitely good down to pretty cold temperatures. I've had it to like minus 15 one night, I think it's down here. Sometimes you need to play around with that a little bit. So you get it exactly how you want it. See, I've got these, they'll slide a little bit, so if I need to adjust them. Do that wee bit of adjustment on them. Good thing with that set up there, they seem to hang really well, like the bottom bits on this carabiner, top bits on this carabiner, it just seems to work. And I've also got some loops there because if I want to attach it high I can attach that up onto my, my thing here you see. But that looks low, but by the time I sit in that, then it's going to be absolutely fine. Oh, look at the bags in the bags, bag section. And the last thing I've got, it's going to get cold, so 
back to using my British Army sleeping bag. This isn't the Arctic, this is the, the newer one. So this is based on the, what is it, the Corinthia Defence 4, which is a lovely bag, but it's crazy expensive. That's a few hundred pounds, I think. This cost me 40 quid, brand new. The only thing I made a mistake on in this is I got the large, thinking that it might be nice and wide, which it is, but both bags, the regular and the large, are the same width. It's just this is a bit longer. This is for someone if you're over six foot, so I don't really need that one, but still does well. So I'm going to see how it go with this because I must admit, I have been enjoying my hammock blankets as a plate. See the size of that, it's not compressed. But that does take up the whole bottom compartment of my bag. And that's a 80 to 130 litre bag. But yeah, as I said, I was feeling cold, blah, blah, blah. So it's meant to be getting cold today. So I'm not, I'm not gonna chance it. They said it could touch somewhere around two degrees to zero degrees. So I'm not going to chance it, I'm just going to... You know, as always I just stick all my, my bags in the second compartment there. I can find them again. I'm going to move this bench out a wee bit I think. I did it last time because I was actually on one of the back trees. So I've actually kept that through the through the summer and everything, I've kept that uncompressed. That bag. When I go home I take my bags out there. Out there uh, stuff sacks. So they're not compressed, lets them air out and uh, just lets them walk better. And with these ones as well. <coughs> excuse me. They're a centre line zip. So um, Makes them quite easy to get in and out of, They're quite hammock friendly. So we'll see how we go. Yep. That's me, all set up. Should be fine for tonight, no rain forecast for the next couple of days, so... Yeah. Well, there we go, I've been, been quite confined for about, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe. So we've got some nice tinder there. I need to clean that out. Bigger stuff here. And I've got even bigger stuff there and there. A few bigger bits I need to bring in yet, and uh, probably more this size as well. And then we'll get a fire lit. And get some food on actually, because I'm starving. Well, I tried off camera there to get a fire going. Got a little bit of birch bark lit. But it just went out. So, it is something that I am going to need to practice, like, a lot. So, and I'm quite disappointed with this knife, as in throwing sparks. It's, uh, got a big, like a harsh 90 degree angle on it. But uh don't throw any much near as much sparks as I thought it would. Use that. Got a bunch of spark. 
back there, but not absolutely nothing. <laughs> so you use it like a it's a man made like or it's like an organic thing, it's like a kind of fibrous sort of block. I suppose it would be very similar to if you if you had some good tree bark that you scrunched up in like cedar bark or something like that. I think it would work very, very similar. So this here is just loads of stuff I picked up from one of the wood piles across the way. I don't really think I just grab handfuls off it. You see there's bits of grass and all sorts mixed in with it, but it's all dry, so it'll work. Yeah, it's something I definitely, definitely practice for the butch park because it is a good fire lighting material. It's, uh, pretty abundant in most of the places I'm likely to be. I don't think as well I can call myself a bushcrafter if I can't get a fire started with a bark. <laughs> I really don't think you can do that. There we go, so <laughs> I've got that fire started. I'm gonna keep that going. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when I'm gonna do some cooking and that. I am proper starving now man. Time for food. Okay guys, so it's cooking time. Uh, but we've got a good light on there. So, what I've got here is some um, marinated chicken, so these are chicken thighs which I deboned at home and then I put some marinade on it, so it's uh, it's going to be a lassa curry, see so, fire these on, hopefully these coals aren't too hot because Thighs themselves will take a little while to cook, but um, with the ingredients that's in the that's in the marinade, it's quite possible for them to burn. I want them to go for quite a long time slowly. If I need to though, I'll do them like this and then uh, 
I'll wrap them in tin foil to finish them. But you can see the thingies are already falling. This is already falling off them. The only problem, because I don't want these to, don't want these to cook too fast. I need them to cook slow. So you can see the flames are coming up there. So it's not really what we want. Try and put them around the outside here just now. Take that bit of wood out there, that was maybe what was burning a lot. Now it should just be cold. You see those flames have died down now. Quite a lot of chicken, it's more than I really need, but it's, um, if I take chicken out, especially, well certainly in the sort of, it's still a wee bit warm during the day and stuff. If I take chicken out, I tend to cook it first. Oh, we've got a flame going on there. We <coughs> pokey pokey just to even out those chop and those coals a little bit. So they're already getting a wee bit on the outside. That's from the flames licking them. It's going to be as bad now because I've turned them all round. Well, that was more because of the skin fat in the skin so I should be able to leave them like that for a little bit now <coughs> starving it's actually quite late now I'll, uh, yeah, you can see those, they are pretty blackened on the outside, but that is just the skin. If it's too much, I can take the skin off, but I don't really care. It's on the campfire, even a bit of charcoal tastes good. <laughs> so I'm going to leave them there. I'll bring you back. I've got some rice and that to go with it. And I'll finish that off in a wee bit. There you go, guys. That's the chicken with the sort of lasa curry marinade and spicy rice and yes I do know that it's a little bit charred but that's fine that's part of cooking on a campfire but yeah I could have I could have think I had a better coal bed a little bit better coal bed I think and then um, maybe had it a little bit higher up you know, two or three inches higher up and I think it would have been uh, it would have been a little bit more successful also I've I left it on a little bit just to make sure it's cooked but um, that tastes good
Yeah, that's really good actually. So, I'm going to enjoy this. Um, chill out, build the fire back up. I'm going to enjoy this, I'm going to chill out, and I'm uh, probably going to head to bed soon. So I'll, uh, I'll speak to you guys later, when I've got a full belly. So everyone, that's me in, uh, in my hammock. All chillaxed now. I'm actually going to bed quite early for me, it's only about 11 o'clock. Normally I'm up until the, the wee hours of the morning. But um, I've got a nice little fire ticking over, I've got a full belly. So, um, yeah, it's time for bed. And uh, I suppose I'll bring you guys back if uh, anything exciting happens in the night. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, everyone. Morning, everyone. Oh, oh about seven o'clock now. That's me definitely up. I think that fire's burnt down to nothing. I think I'll need to completely restart it for the coffee. Yeah, that'll be my that'll be my next thing. Up, oh, I'll get some coffee on because it's uh, quite chilly. Yeah. yeah, it's really very chilly. So I just gave that a wee pokey pokey. See. It's got enough life left in it. But technically, I could just leave that and see if it'll light. Catch a doing, maybe. Slightly smaller bits than that, but. See, these bobby bells. So that's what these are good for. <laughs> Great for just in the morning. You want to bring your fire back to life a wee bit. That's also maybe a good uh, a good example of uh, why we make sure our fires are out before we go. You know, look how easy that one came back to life. Literally, more fuel and blew on that once. <sighs> ah, ah, just dropped all this down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a coffee in no time yet. So, it is time for some coffee now. But that's still the same fire that you just saw. Not, uh, only a couple of minutes has went by. So, we're going to try some, uh, what do you call it, cowboy coffee. We're we'll making up for a couple of cups. Some people do it when the water's boiled, some people do it when the water is put on to boil. I don't know what's right now. Thank you. 
That one now for a wee bit. Hey, look, I was cold like three minutes. Well, five minutes is a little hot now. <coughs> Definitely time for a spot of breakfast now. It's just gone cold. I'm going to take this one nice and slow. Try and not burn it. I don't care if it takes a little while. That's one of the things you need to learn when you're cooking on the fire. A little bit patient. So I'm going to have some bacon, uh, bacon and cheese rolls. And I think a nice cappuccino because I've been up for ages actually. Just let the fire smoke away. As you can see, I've actually not burnt it this time. Bacon, which is nice. And I've got the piesta, uh, piesta de resource, these stones. Here's the cheese. Honestly, cheese on bacon rolls is bright. Not tried it? Try it. It is just the nicest thing. It's a really good fireplace for cooking on it, <laughs> by the way. I don't have any sauce with me, I'm not cooking sauce, but there you have it. Bacon and cheese rolls. Yeah, definitely time for breakfast. for this one. Yes. 
These are going to be some nice locks for tonight. So I thought I'd just take a wee, a wee walk up here. It's on the way to one of the other camps, but uh, I know that the whole side of it has still bees out. Has lots of blackberries or brambles, as we call them. So I thought I would come up here and potentially partake of some of these. Yeah, so I'm gonna focus. Got one there. <laughs> so I just check them for insects, really. Hmm. That one's be a bit mouldy. Still a wee bit muddy here. Jesus. It's very muddy there. The rest of the place is actually really quite dry, to be honest. I'll go down here, there's more on the way down, I think. I spied some. Doesn't look like a particularly juicy one. <laughs> Sounds a wee bit. Now, I nearly slipped there. I do actually recommend that you... You probably give them a good old wash before you eat them. Um, stuff lands on them, flies land on them. Other insects and mammals are up there eating them. You know, there is the potential to get sick. Like all over here, just... Brambles, man. Mm. They are really good. Look, the best ones I can see are like right way in the bushes. Actually, quite hard to get to. I'm going to head that back down to my camp. Don't want to be away for too long because uh, it is reasonably close. It's not not particularly far away that one, so um, maybe don't want to venture too far from it. Yeah, this is us coming down from the other camps. So yeah, I mean this is this is the nicest I've walked on it for quite some time actually. A couple of wee muddy bits, but nothing compared to what it usually is. Tell you what as well, going, going under this tree here. Yeah, see it? It's a wee fallen tree. Going under that tree is a lot easier when you don't have a huge backpack on. Even the stairs here are um, nice and dry, they usually pull water a wee bit. So that was just a wee quick excursion. I was just quite interested to see about the black currants. Uh, the black currants, I keep not black currants, brambles. I'm going to call them brambles, not blackberries, not hanging. I'm Scottish and we call them brambles. Might actually be some out here, to be fair. Possibly. I can see some over by the fence there. But can I see any fruit on them? Oh. Ooh. That looks like a nice big one. Yeah, we'll have you. Uh, no, that one's a wee bit. That was a wee bit nasty. Oh well. 
gonna head back to the camp now anyway. Find something to occupy myself with. Let's see we honey bees in there. Doing these rounds. Well, there's still flowers left. There we go, that's a, a wee quick fast way to process wood. You just, um, you know, find a tree with the fork in it, like that. Then you use leverage just to snap them up. That didn't take a long time, got a good bit of wood there. I'm going to do what I can of these, some are too thick for it. I don't need to saw them. But I'll do what I can like that because it is really easy. So I didn't come up on that with that on my own by the way. That was uh, a guy called Luke from the Outdoor Gear Review. Uh, that's where I actually saw that technique. I thought, hey, that's pretty handy. So yeah, you should definitely definitely go check out his channel. Got a lot of good videos up there. That's my set up for tonight, guys. Looks nice and cosy, doesn't it? Got my fire blazing now. So I'm going to chillax. And uh, probably going to go to bed quite early tonight, actually. I'm super tired. Alright guys, so um, 
I've got some dinner on now. I sort of I laid <laughs> I laid down in my hammock earlier on just as the, the light was going, and uh, I fell asleep for like an hour. Um, but yeah. So I've put on some. I've got a lamb shank there, and I've got. Got a lamb shank and I've got some potatoes and green beans. So I'm gonna get them on. I'll uh spare the cooking because that's pretty boring. I'll use the power of uh the power of editing to make it seem almost instantaneous for you guys. Uh, and I'll bring you back once that's cooked. Uh, I'm looking forward to this because I'm quite hungry now and I love lamb. You will notice as well, I do uh, most of my cooking at night. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I think it's, I, I just like the campfire at night time. Like, that's my favourite time when I'm camping. When it goes dark and you've got the campfire on. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So that is um, a sort of a braised lamb shank in a minty dew with green beans and new potatoes. I think I've cooked something very similar with Tiny before, but it is one of my all-time favourites. I absolutely love lamb. And uh, even though it's not the winter yet, we just got to change the season. Once the sun goes away, give it a couple hours and stuff, you really feel the temperature change. So you have like a nice, a nice meal like this. Absolutely amazing. Sets you up for the night. Then you can go to bed in your hammock or your wherever. On a full stomach, that actually helps you keep you keep uh, keep you warm at night. To be fair. So I am going to get right in about this, and uh, yeah, hopefully any of you guys, if you're out, if you like camping and stuff, you know, take the extra weight, and uh, take some proper, proper food out with you, now and again at least, you know, cook something a bit nice. So now I'm just chilling in my hammock. This is my view right now. Thinking a little bit, when the moon clears the trees in front of me, it'll probably be quite light. It was last night as well. I woke up and you could actually see what's going on. But yeah, I've had my, I've had my dinner, my lamb. Which I reckon is my favourite thing to have out here because it's just awesome. But it was well worth it. Yeah, the lamb definitely well worth it. So um Yeah, I'm gonna hang here for a little bit. I have a little rock in my hammock. There's not gonna be wind around the night, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave my tarp the way it is. Um and yeah, hopefully have a really, a really good sleep tonight. Cause I'm proper tired. I woke up quite a few times last night. But yeah. So, unless anything amazing happens during the night, I will probably see you guys in the morning. Good night. Morning, guys. So that's uh. That's me up, I needed to get in the hammock and I needed the toilet so there was no more morning in the hammock. Um, I just got the fire started, same drill as yesterday. It was just... <coughs> exposing some of the coals that were still in there. And then getting a wee bit of wood on it. So that's already... Can I see it? There we go. It was a wee bit harder than yesterday, I had to blow on it more than like one time, there wasn't quite as much hot coals in it today, but 
thingy. That wee um that wee bellow thing. You can get you can get them they're like ten quid or something from the bushcraft store and that, the pocket bellows, but they're like two quid off Amazon or something like that. They do help like because you can direct the air exactly where you need it, just onto specific wee coals you get it going, you know. So yeah. We're going home today. Pardon me. At what time I don't know. But I'm not really gonna think about that until I get a coffee in me. I need a coffee in me. I don't function in the morning if I don't have a coffee. Guys, so I'm going to start packing away now. So, um, it'll probably take me a lot of stuff because I've got crap everywhere. I'm going to take my time. I'll uh, maybe put you guys on a wee time lapse. I think that would be better. There we go, it's nearly packed up. A couple of bits and bobs to put in in the tarp. I'll bring you back when we're uh, when we're on our way. Still a nice morning, I think it's still quite early. Let me actually check the time. I think it's all a bit back at 7, 8 o'clock, I think. <coughs> it's been an awesome camp. There we go, guys, all packed up. Fire's out. Hammock's away. Bag's on my back. Time to make trails. A bit later than I thought, it's about nine o'clock. Still fairly early. Well, wow, you can see how low that water is. It's the first time in ages I've been able to see that way. Uh, normally I just cross that way and hop off that wee board thing over there, you can see. Because it's been dry for the first time for like a good bit of time. <laughs> so, that is always nice. Right, now. This is always oops, this is always good, but oh yeah. you can see the bridge here. I concentrate more on the bridge than the screen. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll go there. We'll the bridge that in. There we go. A successful crossing. Yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along a wee bit for the for the walkie home. <sighs> Lovely day today. I'm gonna it's meant to get quite warm today, so I'm gonna uh That's why I'm going a wee bit early. I'm gonna get out before it uh it gets too hot. Yeah, we've got to get across this ploughed field. <coughs> well, we're not going to cross it, we're going down the side. So, yeah, out the woods into the open. Bring you guys back when I'm a wee bit further on. I 
think everyone that watches my videos or Carlyle195's videos knows where this is. The tunnel. Oh, no. There we go. Water's a lot lower, that's what the water's usually like if the river's normal and things like that. And when it rises. Ah. Oh my god, I think it was the farm I cleared this big branch here. And it was a pain in the ass. <coughs> oh, my bullfriends aren't in the field. Huh? Oh, they're not in the field today. Boys are normally in the field. Well. So guys, that's us. Finished. Finished this camp. Oh, it's been an amazing autumn camp. Lovely weather. We've had great food. We've had a good chillaxing time. So uh, time to go home and uh, oops, time to go home and join the world now, I suppose. But yeah. Oops. Come on, Gimbo. Sort yourself out. There we go. So um, you know, thanks everyone for watching. Um, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Um, as usual, you know, share, subscribe, like, uh, hit the wee notification bell um, if you want notified of upcoming videos. And um, yeah, I really appreciate your views, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.